Today, millions of people are trapped in a cycle of financial struggle. But the good news is, it doesn't have to be this way. This is Prosperity Pulse Point, and in this video, I'm going to reveal the most common money mistakes that are sabotaging your financial future. Whether you're just starting out or looking to revamp your finances, these mistakes are costing you dearly. And if you stick around till the end, I'll share a powerful financial tool that could potentially double your savings in just a few years. So let's get started. Chapter 1. Spending more than you earn. Let's start with a fundamental financial principle. You can't spend more than you earn. It sounds simple, but it's a mistake countless people make. Overspending is like trying to fill a bucket with a hole in it. No matter how much you pour in, it's always going to leak out. Imagine this. You get a paycheck and it feels like a small victory. You've earned that money, right? But what happens next? Do you carefully allocate funds for bills, savings, and essentials? Or do you find yourself tempted by the latest gadgets, designer clothes, or dining out? Overspending isn't just about buying unnecessary things. It's about a mindset that prioritizes immediate gratification over long-term financial security. And the consequences can be severe. You might find yourself drowning in debt, unable to save for emergencies, or constantly stressed about money. So, how can you break this cycle? The first step is awareness. Track your spending for a month. Every dollar you spend, write it down. You might be surprised by where your money is actually going. Apps and budgeting tools can make this process easier. Once you know where your money is going, you can start making adjustments. Prioritize needs over wants. Cut back on unnecessary expenses. Find cheaper alternatives for things like entertainment or groceries. Remember, every dollar you save is a dollar closer to your financial goals. It's important to be realistic. You don't have to deprive yourself of everything you enjoy. But finding a balance between spending and saving is crucial. By taking control of your spending, you're taking the first step towards a brighter financial future. Chapter 2. Not Setting a Budget Okay, so you're aware of your spending habits. A roadmap for your money? That's where budgeting comes in. A budget isn't about restrictions. It's about empowerment. It's giving yourself permission to spend, but in a conscious and intentional way. Imagine driving without a map. You might reach your destination eventually, but it'll probably take longer and be more stressful. A budget is your financial map. It shows you where you are, where you want to go, and the best way to get there. Without a budget, you're essentially sailing blind. You might be able to cover your basic expenses, but what about saving for a down payment on a house, a new car, or retirement? Without a plan, these goals can seem unattainable. Creating a budget isn't rocket science. Start by listing your income, then list all your expenses, rent, utilities, groceries, transportation, and so on. Subtract your expenses from your income to see how much money is left over. This is your disposable income, which you can allocate towards savings, debt repayment, or fun. Remember, a budget is a living document. It's okay to adjust it as your financial situation changes. Maybe you got a raise, or unexpected expenses popped up. Don't be afraid to revisit and revise your budget as needed. And don't forget about the psychological benefits of budgeting. It can reduce financial stress, increase your sense of control, and boost your overall well-being. So why wait? Start budgeting today and watch your financial life transform. Chapter 3. Retirement Retirement. It's a word that often brings up images of relaxation, travel, and hobbies. But the reality is, retirement is a financial reality that requires careful planning. Yet, so many people ignore this crucial aspect of their financial life. It's easy to get caught up in the present, paying bills, covering monthly expenses, and saving for short-term goals can feel like a full-time job. But what about your future self? Will they be able to enjoy the same lifestyle without a steady income? The truth is, social security alone won't be enough. It's designed to replace a portion of your pre-retirement income, not all of it. To maintain your desired lifestyle, you'll need additional savings. 
there are several retirement saving options available. A 401k is a popular choice, often with employer matches. An IRA is another great option, offering more flexibility. And don't forget about other investments like stocks, bonds, or real estate. The earlier you start saving, the better. Even small contributions can make a big difference over time, thanks to compound interest. It's like watching a snowball grow bigger and bigger. So, how much should you save? A common rule of thumb is to aim for saving 15% of your income. But the right amount depends on your desired retirement lifestyle, age, and other factors. Don't let retirement sneak up on you. Start saving today and give yourself the peace of mind that comes with financial security in your golden years. Chapter 4. Investing Too Much in a House Homeownership is often seen as the quintessential American dream, but it's essential to approach it with a clear head, not just heart. While owning a home can be a fantastic investment, overextending yourself can have severe financial consequences. It's easy to get caught up in the excitement of finding the perfect house. But remember, a home is a significant asset, but it's also a massive expense. Property taxes, maintenance, and potential repairs can quickly add up. Moreover, tying up a large portion of your wealth in one asset can be risky. If the housing market declines, you can find yourself with a significant portion of your net worth underwater. Diversification is key in investing. Spreading your money across different assets like stocks, bonds, and real estate can help protect you from market fluctuations. That's not to say you shouldn't own a home. It can be a great long-term investment, but it's essential to weigh the pros and cons carefully. Consider factors like location, property values, and your overall financial goals before making a significant commitment. Chapter 5. Living Paycheck to Paycheck Living paycheck to paycheck is a stressful cycle that traps many people. It's the feeling of constant financial anxiety, where every dollar is accounted for before it even hits your bank account. It's a never-ending treadmill that's hard to escape. This financial situation often stems from a lack of planning. Without a budget, it's easy to overspend and find yourself scrambling to make ends meet. Impulse purchases, dining out, and unnecessary subscriptions can quickly drain your account. Another culprit is carrying too much debt. Credit card balances, student loans, and car payments can consume a significant portion of your income, leaving little room for savings. Breaking free from the paycheck-to-paycheck -paycheck cycle requires discipline and determination. Start by creating a realistic budget. Track your income and expenses to identify areas where you can cut back. Building an emergency fund is also crucial. Aim to save at least three to six months worth of living expenses to cushion unexpected financial shocks. Consider increasing your income through a side hustle or asking for a raise. Every extra dollar can help you build a buffer and reduce financial stress. Chapter 6. Fix the Cycle Alright, I promised you a secret weapon to supercharge your financial journey. Are you ready? It's called Save First. You've probably heard of the popular financial guru, Robert Kiyosaki. He's a big advocate of this strategy. Essentially, it means paying yourself first. Before you spend a single dime on anything else, allocate a portion of your income to savings. It might sound counterintuitive. After all, bills, rent, and groceries are pressing needs. But hear me out. By prioritizing savings, you're building a financial foundation. It's like filling up your savings account with concrete before building the rest of your financial house. This approach flips the traditional script. Instead of spending everything and hoping something is left over for savings, you're intentionally setting aside money for your future self. This creates a safety net, helps you reach your goals faster, and fosters a mindset of abundance. You might wonder how much to save. A good starting point is 10% of your income. But the more money you can save, the better. Remember. It's about creating a habit. Even small amounts saved consistently can make a significant difference over time. So there you have it. The secret to breaking free from financial struggles is often simpler than you think. By prioritizing savings, you're taking control of your financial destiny. It's a powerful tool that can transform your relationship with money. So there you have it. 
the most common money mistakes and a powerful strategy to overcome them. Small steps can lead to big financial breakthroughs. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more financial tips and advice. Your support helps me create more content to help you achieve financial freedom. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.